Hello everyone. You might have read the title of the video and here is a little review of a pen. This is not a tech review but then pens are the, I guess the first of the many technology items that we have, we have always been using. This is a very good pen which I have recently bought and I loved it so much that I bought a whole box of it. This is a wholesale pack of this, this pen and I'm going to give this to my friends and colleagues who, who like using fountain pens and without delay, let's open this thing. Okay, so it's a tan pen. This one comes in five colors, so there's two of each in this box. I have already segregated these colors. And this one is a black body pen. That's a dark blue. Some people call it navy blue. That's a red pen. It is now another black one. A grey one. And a gray one. Let's see again. Ah, this is a blue one. These are the five ones. See, there's a just a little bit of each. Okay. Well, okay. So these are the five colors of these pens. Um already using a grey one and let's see how these pens are it comes at, at an MRP of Rs. 125 there's another pen which is called Momento Gold this is half gold that is a full gold pen the Momento Gold actually comes with a full metal body this comes with only a metal cap with a golden colored finish on it and a small metal ring on it and in the Momento Gold I, I I was actually buying that first but then I shifted to this because that had a full metal body the base of the pen this part is made of metal in that pen there are also many color variations available in that pen but I preferred this because metal tends to to uh, changes temperature according to the weather now it's cold here so this pen is uh, feeling a little cold in my hand and this helps you to write better it is a little lighter than that metal part metal bodied pen which is momento gold this is half gold i guess half might mean that half metal body and this is a good pen I am using it currently with a with a cartridge which is available in this pen. Let's see how the packet is delivered. It comes with the same colored cap. See, all the caps are same of these five variants. The uh, cartridges are same the pistons are also the same there are two two cartridges available in almost every pack not almost in, in every pack and these are extra long cartridges it says pre card in extra long cartridges it says pre card in extra long cartridges the focus is not working in good way let's see I'm trying to comment some anyways so this comes with two extra long cartridges this is a normal piston i guess this might be a good piston because this is not flare flare delivers these and flare the quality of flare is a little bit more economic and i guess it, it is a little bit less of a good quality than this one this is the piston it works well then comes the pen 
which is the main article. Something I like about this is that it is of a good quality plastic. It doesn't get uh, cracked or or maybe when you tighten it a little more or when you drop it, you you don't you are not supposed to drop a fountain pen. But then this is a good quality pen, and I will try linking this pen in the description box below so that you might buy this from Amazon if it is not available in, with your local stationery shop and this part is same in almost every in every variant this part is same this is a little transparent if it is visible in the camera this is transparent the whole body the pen is also transparent but then because of the thickness of the plastic you might not be able to see that this is transparent this is not translucent you cannot see through this but you can a little bit see through this if the if the uh, ink gets deposited here you you might see it when you point this towards the light or towards whatever light source and you attach the cartridge here or the I'll show you in the other one. You attach the cartridge here or the piston here, and then see you you might be able to see the deposit of the ink inside the pen. And what I also like about this pen is that the color of the of this part of the pen, I don't know what it, what it's called. It is the same as the body of the pen. With the blue, it comes in the blue color. In the blue color. With the red, it comes in red, and with the black, it comes in black, and the navy blue, and so respectively. Okay, so let's see what else is here. One thing more. If you can see in this one, it's not much visible here. I'll see it if it is visible in some other pen. I want to show you something which I found in this pen. In this article. It's the blue one. Maybe after using it, it is visible, but then I have found something in this pen. Not in here. The black one. This one is pretty. Black with gold. This is quite pretty. Anyways, so let's see how this pen works. The locking me mechanism is a normal locking me mechanism. There is not a spring loaded here. I've seen many pens coming with a spring here so that they can lock the pen easily in the fountain pens. I like using fountain pens, so I tend to keep buying more and more fountain pens. What I was trying to show you was this part. There's a small thing here it's a small fabric or a fiber which is here and this helps you to not to dry the 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 nib even if i keep this open for a for like a few minutes or for a longer period of time with a normal fountain pen there is this problem that the 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 uh, liquid ink which is here which comes from the cartridge or the piston that actually dries the nib and uh, the uh, liquid ink in the nib and that gets deposited here and you have to then work on the pen you have to write it and you have to make it work and then this uh, the pen starts working in a normal fashion after a very long time after some work on the pen after some struggle 
uh, but here is a small fabric inside the nib that is between the metal nib and this base I am actually not remembering what this part is called I yet it is called fib if I am not wrong and there is a small fabric here right here and it gets the ink from the body of the pen and make, keeps the, the nib a little damp not from the outside but from the inside there is no ink deposited on the top like in any fountain pen because of this film this small fabric here and uh, this comes in on uh, this comes in fine nib it says that it has a special rounded nib but it has not got a regular uh, classic nib which we call classic nib it has not got a uh, classic nib but then it has a rounded nib and that is done on the purpose because if you drop this pen then the nib there is very less chance that the nib will get damaged because of the small and the rounded shape secondly the bigger nib tends, uh, tends to dry earlier this doesn't dries that much thirdly the bigger nibs are a little flexible because of the surface and the shape of the nibs this is not that flexible this is of a normal flexibility which helps you to write in a normal way if you are not that used to writing fountain with fountain pens and you are using gel pens or ball pens this will help you in the, in the transition from normal pen to the fountain pen world okay what next um, it has got a body here which is like the v5 pilot pens which we 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 all have been using in our childhood some people still use it for the nostalgia and um, what else let's see uh, the cost of this pen was it says the MRP is 125 I bought these many pens for uh, 100 bucks each almost 100 bucks each because I bought it in, in bulk from a good wholesaler and colors are five the model which is the memento gold it is available in uh, approximately rupees 250 MRP if I'm not wrong and uh, for students who are fond of buying good pens but they don't want to spend much uh, this this is a good pen and I uh, the flux of the pen is good the grip of the pen that is a must grip, grip of the pen is not fat grip and it is not even a slim grip fountain pens are really available in slim grip though this is a normal grip which we have in ball pens and, and other pens a little thicker only one mm i would say or many pens are available with this grip and there's not fat grip in this it helps you to hold the product and you don't tire of the pen the fat grip pens cannot be used for a longer time and the signatures and the writing changes with the fat grip this doesn't change your writing or the signature or it doesn't tire you the capacity of the pen is good there is a long cartridge fitted in this one and for students who definitely use the the, the cartridges while working in the school or you know, wherever these come handy you you can opt for the normal cartridges which cost very low i guess two rupees per, per cartridge but then this is also a, a good option you don't have to refill it again and again and that is a that is not a good option when you're working or you are in school or somewhere and this long cartridge comes very handy okay and if uh, cartridges are portable as you know the nib is fine, nib is not a, a 
medium name or thick name. This is a fine name. This is not Japanese fine. Japanese fine is really fine, but then it is a normal Western fine. It's a normal fine pen. It doesn't make you feel that you are writing in a very fine, in a very thin writing or it, it is a normal pen. What is the benefit of this tip is that if you opt for a thicker name, like a medium name or a large name, they tend to not to dry easily if you are writing anything and you accidentally rub your hand it, it's a little cold here but if you are using a medium nip or a large nip it is obviously a, a more pleasure pleasuring to write with a medium or a large nip but when you are using a medium or a large nib, the ink doesn't dry that easily and when you rub your hand over it, it tends to stain and all the ink is, is makes, your, makes your hand blue. This is smooth. What I do is before buying the product because they don't let you use it with the ink to keep it new i tend to write with it without the ink on the paper to feel the nib to feel how the nib grinds on the paper this is very smooth this is not rough that this doesn't tear the paper on which we are writing if the if the nib is not smooth it might help uh, tear the paper and the writing experience is not that smooth this is a very well rounded and a very well researched tip looks like a normal nib. every nib lo looks the same but it is different when you write with it mm. the nib won't overflow because of this this uh, fiber in it this material in it and uh, there won't be any time when there will be less ink flowing in the nib because these are the two things like overflowing and uh, less flow of the Ink. This might be to control the control the ink in the nib and transparent body obviously that helps you to know the status of the pen and to keep the pen clean. I am not sure that if you could remove all this thing and take out this part and then clean it, but then I haven't still gotten to that stage. The ink has reached here, which was previously here and i don't know that if the what will happen when the ink reaches here to this part but this is a good thing about the ink flow you cannot see any variation of the ink in this pen generally there is variation of the ink being released from the nib in many normal pens i would give the whole credit to the to the to the very small rounded nib and the material which is underneath the nib here which is not being being uh, visible in the other pens and i would definitely recommend this pen i am already gifting these pens to many of my friends and that's it that's the review of the of the pen can Paris Mendo Half Gold Liquid Pen. You can also buy the Pericardin Paris Mendo Gold Pen, which is uh, almost double the price of this pen, and it comes with a metal body. Someday I might buy buy that too. Uh, but this is also a good option. The pen is the same. The mechanism is the same. Only the part this part is different the color of the cap is also matching to the body in that uh, momento gold which is a full metal body pen 
here the cap is the same but then the pen varies with the body that's all about this pen thank you for watching this video